pancakes. However, there's molds in it that are different to allow it to form a, a waffle-like cake. So instead of going to the local diner and wasting time and energy, you can make some delicious waffles at your own convenience. So all you gotta do is wait for the green light to come on. Once the green light comes on, then you can take your batter that you have and pour it inside the uh, waffle maker. And then what you want to do is you want to pour it inside here. You want to make sure that it's nice and evenly distributed. So this way it gets the best, uh, makes the best waffle for you. And then what you do is you close the light, wait, and then flip it. Wait a while, flip it back, and it should take about three or four minutes, and then you're good. Got the green light. So then what we do is take the batter and we pour it right in. About three or four minutes. Next comes the batter and the pancake mixers. According to some sources, um, how to make the world's best waffles, according to Jean Beth, you want it to make sure that you're mixing the batter and that you, you let it sit for about 12 to 24 hours. Uh, the reason being is that the batter contains yeast inside it. The yeast needs time to grow and uh, this is what gives those Belgian waffles that honeycomb likeness to them. Uh, it's kind of like air bubbles in the mix. So this way uh, you bite into a delicious waffle and you can hear that waffle sound break down. This is why it's important to mix your batter well. And speaking of the mix, uh, there's a number of mixes out there. Uh, Chris seen a Belgian waffle mix for the best waffles as far as taste and crispiness and appearances goes. Um, there, there really is just a number of different batters to choose from. Uh, for example, do you want healthier ones? Then maybe you want to check, try the Bisquit uh, gluten-free waffles or do you want better tasting ones? Then maybe you want to try Stonewall kitchen butter uh, milk waffles. Or you can try Kodiak waffles, uh, which has more protein in them. This really just comes down to your own pet personal choice. But overall, it's an easy process to do, and I think anybody can try and do it. But uh, now overall, I'm not saying that diners are bad. However, I'm saying that you can save a lot of time and a lot of energy by just making them, them yourself. This way you can use that time for more important things like planning a trip or spending time with a friend or maybe just going right back to sleep again. Now it's easy. And to think I was gonna go to the diner. <laughs> That's good. Some little quick history on waffles. Um, they've been around since the first of the first century. Uh, back in the year 1200, uh, that was when they used a huge fire and they had two iron plates that held the waffle together. And that formed the honeycomb-like pattern. So waffles have been around for centuries. Uh, it wasn't until 1869 when Cornelius Swart Trout made the first ever waffle iron in the United States and uh, was patented in August 24th. Uh, this is also National Waffle Day, believe it or not. August 24th. And the 25th? Well, that's Banana Split Day. 
And the 26th, that's National Dog Day. So that must mean my dog gets a waffle banana split. All on the 26th of the week. The first commercial waffle iron appeared in kitchens around the 1930s. So your great, great grandparents had the first ever waffle iron, believe it or not, and they were electric. So you didn't have to worry about getting burned by a big, huge open fire. So as you can see, according to history, waffles have been around for quite some time. So remember, if you want to make waffles, do them from home. It's way easier. Also, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below of where you can get the waffle mixes and uh, different waffle makers. I'll put that all in the description below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get more of these easy videos coming to you. Until next time, this is Jake the Easy Guy. Keeping it easy. Take care. <music>